Part 1. Listen and choose the correct answer. Let's do an example. Number 1. Listen to the Part 1. Listen and choose the correct answer. Let's do an example. Number 1. Listen to the teacher. Class is finished for today. Pack up your bag and quietly leave the room. I'll see you all again tomorrow. Now answer this question. What did the teacher tell the students to do? The answer is B. Did you see the tick? Now you do it. Number 2. Listen to the teacher. Let's do star jumps to warm up before we start our PE lesson. Stand far away from each other so that you don't hit your friends. Now, please jump up and spread your arms and legs as far as you can. What did the teacher tell the students to do? Number 3. Listen to the mother. Let's make some mango smoothie, Alex. I'm going to peel and dice the mango. Can you please get me the jar of honey? Honey can enhance the taste of our smoothie a lot. What did the mother tell her daughter to do? Number 4. Listen to the mother. Are you ready to go to the park, Catherine? I made you a cheese sandwich for lunch. Remember to put it in your bag. Have fun! What did the mother tell her daughter to do? Number 5. Listen to the teacher. Remember not to litter so we can keep our class clean. I want you to pick up all the candy wrappers on the floor and put them into the trash bin. What did the teacher tell the students to do? Number 6. Listen to the mother. Ben, I'm going to do laundry after I finish cooking. Please collect all of your dirty clothes and put them in the basket next to the washing machine. What did the mother tell her son to do? Number 7. Listen to the teacher. Let's start our computer lesson for today. Please turn on your computer by pushing on the power button on the left side of the screen. What did the teacher tell the students to do? Part 2. Listen to the conversation and answer the question. Let's do an example. Number 8. Listen to the conversation between the boy and the girl. Listen for the answer to this question. Where does the girl want to go? Hey, do you need some help? Ah, yes. Thank you. I'm looking for the History Museum. I thought it would be near the post office, as shown on the map, but I still can't find it. It's behind the temple, over there. Walk down this street a little bit more, and you will see it on your right. I see. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Where does the girl want to go? A. To the bank. B. To the museum. C. To the temple. The answer is B. 
Do you see the tick? Now you do it. Number nine. Listen to the conversation between the woman and her daughter. Listen for the answer to this question. What's the girl going to do tonight? Are you going to Ben's party tonight, Kate? I talked to your friend Julia earlier, and she said she would be going. I want to, but I can't. Why not? I didn't go to school last week because I was sick. So now I have a lot of homework to do. What's the girl going to do tonight? A. Go to a party. B. See a friend. C. Do her homework. Number ten. Listen to the conversation between two classmates. Listen for the answer to this question: What's the boy going to get for his mother? My mom's birthday is this Sunday, and I don't know what to get her. What does she like? She likes to plant herbs, like rosemary and mint. Oh, my aunt also plants those herbs. She has a cookbook that teaches her how to make lovely dishes using them. Cool, a cookbook sounds like a great gift. Can you ask your aunt the name of the book for me, please? Sure, I will call her right now. What's the boy going to get for his mother? A, a plant. B, a plate. C, a cookbook. Number eleven. Listen to the conversation between the woman and her daughter. Listen for the answer to this question: What is the girl going to order? What are you going to order, Sue? Everything on the menu looks tasty. I'm not sure what to order. I tried the tuna salad here last time. It was delicious. Hmm. I already had tuna for lunch at school. What about chicken rice? It's their signature dish. Sounds interesting. I'll order that. What is the girl going to order? A. Tuna salad. B. Chicken rice. C. Chicken salad. Number twelve. Listen to the conversation between the girl and her brother. Listen for the answer to this question: What did the boy not? See at the museum today. Where did you go with your class today, Richard? We went to the old school museum. Oh, what did you see there? We saw an old classroom with old desks and old books. We also played on the old swings in the playground. Everything there was old, except the benches near the gate. That sounds interesting. I've never been to that museum. What did the boy not see at the museum today? A. Old books. B. Old swings. C. Old benches. Number thirteen. Listen to the conversation between the girl and the shop assistant. Listen for the answer to this question: What's the girl going to do next?
Hello. I'm looking for a dress to wear to my aunt's wedding. That's a special occasion. What do you think of this layered pink dress? I like the style, but not the color. Do you have it in any other colors? Yeah, it also comes in white and light blue. Here you are. I think the light blue one looks better. May I try it on? Sure, go ahead. The changing room is over there. What's the girl going to do next? A. Ask where the changing room is. B. Try on the light blue dress. C. Buy the pink dress. Number fourteen. Listen to the conversation between the boy and his teacher. Listen for the answer to this question. Where will the boy go after school today? After school today, I'm going to put up the flyers for the dance contest. Where should I put them, Mrs. Green? I already put one on the school notice board. Please stick this one to the door of the music room. By the way, we need another one outside of the sports center. Could you print one more to put there tomorrow? Okay, I will. Thank you. Where will the boy go after school today? A. To the school notice board. B. To the music room. C. To the sports center. Part three. Listen to the phone messages and answer the questions. Let's do an example. Number fifteen. Listen to the phone message. Hi, Dad. It's Ben. Mom said you would be home early today. I left my laptop on the dining table before I went to school this morning. Can you please help me figure out why it's not working when you get home? Thank you. Why did Ben call? A. To ask for his dad's permission to use his laptop. B. To ask his dad to check his laptop. C. To tell his dad where he put his laptop. The answer is B. Do you see the tick? Now you do it. Number sixteen. Listen to the phone message. Hi, Jenny. It's Ruth. We need to meet tomorrow morning to work on our project. I think we should go to the library because it has computers for us to do the research. What do you think? Call me back and let me know. What is Jenny supposed to do? A. Do research on the computer. B. Go to the library. On her own, C. Call Ruth. Number seventeen. Listen to the phone message. Hello, Mr. Park. This is Michelle from Home Paradise Store. The coffee machine you ordered is now in stock. We can deliver it to you. This afternoon, will you be home between three p.m. and five p.m.? Why did the woman call? A. To make a delivery appointment. B. To invite a customer to visit her store. C. To apologize for a late delivery.
Number 18. Listen to the phone message. Hi, Mom. It's Mary. When are you coming home? Bob has been playing video games for almost two hours. I told him to stop playing and finish his homework, but he just doesn't listen to me. He's even turning up the volume now. What did Mary tell Bob to do? A. Call their mother. B. Do his homework. C. Turn up the volume. Number 19. Listen to the phone message. Hi, Thomas. This is Frank. I just came back from my family trip and got some souvenirs for you. If you're free, do you want to come over later? I can't wait to show you the photos I took during the trip. Why did Frank call? A. To tell Thomas about the trip. B. To ask Thomas to come over. C. To tell Thomas to wait for him. Number 20. Listen to the phone message. Hey, Tracy, it's Rosie. What time is the volleyball game this Sunday? I need to visit my grandmother in the morning, so I can only join if it's scheduled for the afternoon. What's Rosie going to do this Sunday morning? A. Play volleyball with Tracy. B. Buy a new video game. C. Visit her grandmother. Number 21. Listen to the phone message. Hi, Joe. It's Matt. I'm going to the movies tomorrow. Do you want to join me? The new action movie sounds very exciting. It's playing at 7 p.m. My chess club ends at 6, so I think we'll have time to grab some snacks and take the 6 30 bus. To the theater. Does that sound good to you? What time is the movie tomorrow? A. 6 p.m. B. 6 30 p.m. C. 7 p.m. Part 4. Listen and answer the questions. Listen to the story. After school, Katie said to Chloe, We don't have any homework today. Let's go to the movies. Sure, why not? Which film do you want to see? Chloe asked. Any comedy will do. I just want to relax and watch a funny movie. Me too, Chloe replied. But I have to ask my mom. Let's go to my house first. When Chloe asked her mom if she could go to the movies, she said, Before you go, you must feed the chickens. Collect the eggs if the hens have laid any. Okay, I will. Said Chloe. Then Katie and Chloe went to the big chicken coop in Chloe's backyard. They fed the chickens but didn't find any eggs. When they were about to finish their tasks, Katie saw a hen sitting on its nest. 
Is it incubating its eggs? Asked Katie. Yes, it is. It has been doing that for a couple of weeks. My mom said we would have to wait for about 20 days, Chloe answered. Wait. I think I hear some sounds, Katie said. The children stayed silent to listen. The sound was two chicks that had already hatched. Yes, it is. It has been doing that for a couple of weeks. My mom said we would have to wait for about 20 days, Chloe answered. Wait. I think I hear some sounds, Katie said. The children stayed silent to listen. The sound was two chicks that had already hatched. When they looked closer, they saw one more chick breaking through the egg's shell. It was pushing itself out of the egg. It was such a magical moment. Its fur was still a little bit wet, and it was looking around with curious eyes. Welcome to the world, little chicks, Katie and Chloe were also looking at the chicks with curiosity. I think watching a baby chick hatch is better than any movie, Katie said. Now answer the questions. Number 22. What did Katie and Chloe want to do at first? A. Go to Chloe's house. B. Feed some chickens. C. Go to a movie. Number 23. Why did they go to Chloe's house? A. To ask for Chloe's mom's permission to go to the movies. B. To see if the hen had laid some eggs. C. To watch TV. Number 24. What was the hen doing when they saw it? A. Eating. B. Sitting on its nest. C. Leading its chicks into the chicken coop. Number 25. How did the chick get out of the egg? A. It broke through the egg's shell. B. It used magic. C. It had the support of its mother. Listen to the story. When Matt was watching his favorite show, his mom asked him to buy some groceries. She gave him some money, an eco-friendly bag, and a list of things to buy. Five tomatoes, five oranges, and one kilogram of flour. However, Matt found it annoying to carry a big shopping bag, and he left home without it. The grocery store was near Matt's home, so we walked there. He easily found all the things he needed to buy for his mom. But there was a problem at the checkout counter. Our shop no longer gives out plastic bags in order to protect the environment. You can buy an eco-friendly bag to help save the earth. This kind of bag can be used again and again. And it helps us reduce single-use plastic bags, the cashier said to Matt. Matt didn't have enough money to buy an eco-friendly bag. So he replied, It's okay. I can carry them. 
He put all the tomatoes and oranges and the bag of flour in his shirt to carry them home. I should have taken my mom's shopping bag, Matt said to himself as he struggled to carry the groceries. Then he saw another boy carrying a big plastic bag of apples. I wish I had a bag like him. It's more comfortable to have a plastic bag, Matt thought. But Matt was wrong. As that boy was carrying the apples, the plastic bag couldn't stand all the weight. It burst open, and the apples fell to the ground. Matt wanted to help, but his hands were full of stuff. Fortunately, a woman came by and helped the boy pick up the apples. Plastic bags break easily. They are also bad for the environment. Next time, I will make sure to bring an eco-friendly bag when going shopping, Matt thought and hurried to get home. Now answer the questions. Number 26. What did Matt's mom give him? A. Some money, an eco-friendly bag, and a grocery list. B. Some money and a big plastic bag. C. A shopping bag and a list of things to buy. Number 27. What was Matt's problem at the grocery store? A. He couldn't find what he needed to buy. B. The store stopped giving out plastic bags in order to protect the environment. C. The cashier didn't give him the right change. Number 20. Listen. Listen to the story. Grocery store. A. He couldn't find what he needed to buy. B. The store stopped giving out plastic bags in order to protect the environment. C. The cashier didn't give him the right change. Number 28. How did Matt carry his things home? A. He put them in his shirt. B. He bought an eco-friendly bag from the grocery store. C. He asked for a bag from a woman on the street. Number 29. What happened to the boy carrying a lot of apples in his plastic bag. A. He could walk comfortably. B. His plastic bag couldn't stand all the weight and it burst open. C. He received no help. Listen to the teacher in biology class. Sea turtles live in oceans, drink seawater, and eat marine creatures and algae. Algae is a large group of simple plants without real leaves, stems, or roots, like seaweed. Sea turtles don't lay eggs in the water, so you can never find their eggs on riverbanks or at the bottom of the ocean. They crawl onto beaches to lay their eggs. When they get onto the beach, they shed tears from their eyes. You may think that they are crying because they are sad or hurt, but they actually do this to release their excess salt. They do this in the sea as well.
We just can't see the tears in the seawater. Now answer the questions. Number 30. Where do sea turtles live? A. In ponds. B. In rivers. C. In oceans. Number 31. Where do they lay eggs? A. On riverbanks. B. On beaches. C. At the bottom of the ocean. Number 32. Why do they shed tears? A. To release excess salt. B. To express their emotions. C. To tell us that they are hungry. Listen to the teacher in science class. Where does paper come from? It is made from trees. If you look at a tree, you might wonder how something so tall and strong can be turned into something as thin and weak as paper. This is the reason why. All the wood and trees is mostly made up of fiber. Paper is made by processing the wood and its fiber. It all starts by cutting down the trees. The logs are then sent to a paper factory. Then they are cut up into pieces and boiled with water and some chemicals. After a while, they become pulp. This pulp flows onto a moving screen where most of the water is taken out until the pulp turns into paper. Workers use huge machinery to make rolls of paper. Lastly, the paper rolls are cut to size and transported to other factories to be made into different kinds of paper, like your notebooks. Now you know why we can save trees by using less paper. Now answer the questions. Number 33. What is the first step of making paper? A. Cutting down trees. B. Boiling pieces of wood. C. Making rolls of paper. Number 34. What do you boil pieces of wood with to make pulp? A. Logs. B. Chemicals. C. A moving screen. Number 35. How can we save trees? A. By using more paper. B. By making pulp. C. By using less paper. Listen to the teacher in history class. Many years ago, in 1620, a group of brave Englishmen, women, and children set sail to America. They were called pilgrims. The first winter in America was tough and cold, and they didn't have enough food. Many people got very sick. When spring came, the pilgrims had to learn how to feed themselves. Native Americans showed them 
how to grow plants like corn. Native Americans were the people who had long lived in America. They knew how to survive and grow food on the land. In the fall, the pilgrims gathered a big harvest. This means that they had a lot of food to eat. They decided to have a big dinner. They invited their Native American neighbors to celebrate with them. The pilgrims were thankful that they had settled in a new place and started a new life. Since then, Americans have celebrated Thanksgiving Day on the fourth Thursday of every November. They give thanks for things like family, food, shelter, and good health. Now answer the questions. Number thirty-six. How did the pilgrims get to America? A. By ship. B. By plane. C. By ferry. Number thirty-seven. Who taught them how to grow plants? A. No one. They learned by themselves. B. French pilgrims. C. Native Americans. Number thirty-eight. What did the pilgrims decide to do when they had a big harvest in fall? A. Store the food for winter. B. Invite the Native Americans to their big dinner. C. Give the Native Americans some food. Number thirty-nine. When do Americans celebrate Thanksgiving Day? A. On the fourth Thursday of October. B. On the fourth Thursday of November. C. On the fourth Thursday of December. <laughs>